Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Rat Shack Unhinged. Hey, thank you very much. Hold your applause until we finish this thing, okay? Hello and welcome back to Rat Shack Unhinged. Today, I'm coming to you from a location that you might not recognize. And this location is something you don't recognize because today I am in the super secret Rats As Racing Garage. Yes, you heard that right. And today I'm gonna introduce you to the first project going on here at the garage this winter. And that is a vehicle that is right behind me. And I am about to introduce you to this awesome vehicle that is going to be our first build this winter. So, without further ado, here we go! In this garage is this beautiful truck. Now, you might think, well, Red Shack Girl, that uh, looks like a pretty solid truck already. What do you mean it's a project? Well, here in the Rat Shack, we like power. And while this truck was fairly powerful, it's gonna be much more powerful when we're done with it here. So for those who don't know already, this is a Chevy S10 pickup, and this will be built for the dragway. And right now, under the hood, we have, wait for it, this little 4.3 motor. This motor is going to be coming out of the truck and in its place will be a 406. So you might be thinking, well, how is that gonna fit? And you would be absolutely right. That small block Chevy is not gonna fit in this truck. So what do you do? How do you make room to have that really nice racing motor go in this truck? Well, let me show you. So this whole front has to be removed. So I'll be taking out the bumper and the grill and all of the stuff that goes with it, the fog lights, all of that. And then I'm gonna, underneath the hood, take out the radiator support, the radiator, all of this stuff in the front and start getting the motor ready to come out of the truck because the motor and the transmission are both coming out. And I have a new radiator support over here that will be installed because there will be a racing radiator, which is an aluminum radiator that's going to be installed on the truck. And then I have these pieces here. So as you can see, this is a new, the new front pieces that are going to accommodate the new structure in the front of the truck. But of course those can't go on until that motor and the transmission come out and get replaced with a new one. So, the new motor that we're putting in is going to be a 406, so Chevy small block, and that's going to go and get hooked up with a racing transmission. And once that's installed, then we can start work on the front. And in the meantime, I have a couple other projects that I'm going to be doing on this. Number one is something really, really cool. If you look at this bed, I don't know if you can tell from here, but this is a long bed, which is actually better for the racetrack. This bed will be coming off of the body of the truck and it's for multiple reasons. One of those reasons is because I need to install an X brace in the frame so that the torque won't twist the frame. So that's much easier done with the bed off of the truck. But something really cool that I'm going to be doing here is lifting up this bed on hinges. So this bed will be able to be lifted up at the track or in the garage here so that things like gears can be swapped out, whatever I need to do without having to climb underneath it to do it. So it's going to be really, really convenient and a really cool feature. And then 
Of course, it's easier to do things like installing the, the fuel cell and the roll cage and all of that. It's, I think it's gonna be much easier with the bed off the truck. So there's a lot of work to be done. It's gonna be a busy, busy winter and I am gonna video as much of it as I can. Of course, I will be keeping a few little secrets along the way because that's only to be expected. So the plan is that this truck that has been dubbed Bluey the Beast will be on the dragway this spring with me behind the wheel. So stay tuned.